guys, we're back in another episode of Feed the Beast Monster. And today we're going to be working with a little bit different mod. And it is something I do know just a little bit about. A little bit about. Sorry, guys. Ugh. Can't speak today. And so it's going to be Railcraft. So you guys have, if you've been watching my previous videos, I do use Slash Home. Which I have three homes, I think. One's bedrock, one's mob farm, one's main base home. So I have these different different spawn points in different areas. Well, the between my three areas, it's really easy to get to. As you see, it's raining right now. Um, I'll go out there in a minute. But if you can see, these areas line up pretty perfectly. And my mob farm is right beneath this. So I might have to use an elevator track or find a different way to maybe swirl down like a kind of cool little thing. But Railcraft steam locomotives is what we're going to need. And as far as I know, I'm not 100% sure, I think uh, we'll be able to use the steel. Sir, excuse me. The murder craft, guys. So hopefully this is a little bit thing. So I did find out that it seems like this is bugged right now in 1.7 supposedly he fixed it but for right now I just use standard search I'm just searching here first beforehand whatever I need so we're gonna do at rail that should bring up railcraft let's go first page so one of the first things we're gonna need is track this track is made with some wooden rail beds and these are made with wooden ties which requires creosote oil and wood so, luckily, or wood slap, sorry. I think, let's see if we could just do it this way. Uh, I do have slabs, so where's the crusoe I stuck in here? Crusoes, thank you. So, we're going to need a couple of these. We're going to have to grab some more slabs, of course. So, wood. Let's do this. Uh, let's get a stack, two stacks. That seems plenty for right now. Stick that right there. Then it's up into the. There we go. We made 30 of them. What does that make? A drying rack. I've never, never seen that. I want to grab one. So these wooden rail beds, as you see, we're gonna need standard rail. Standard rail, I think, is made using the rolling machine, or you could combine a whole bunch of other regular vanilla Minecraft. Or so we have some. We need some iron. A ton of iron. Yeah, there we go. Oh, might as well grab a full stack. Just in case we might need some later. And plus, we're going to be making a lot of track. I'm probably going to have to cut when we're making that. But I have already had a rolling machine. Ooh, almost off the edge, too. So we'll stick that right there. As I said, it does like this. And like this should balance it out automatically there we go so this is making the track that we're gonna need for the the machine but there's something else we're gonna need we're gonna need let's see let's call it routing oh I, I forgot we're not searching that way we're going like this and we should need we need a locomotive so let's see if we can find that furnace chest carts I think you die the locomotives too, so I'm not 100% sure if it's going to come up as a single recipe. Nope, there it is. So you need some high pressure valves, which is steel plates, which you can make with steel. And you use SLA steel. So let's grab some steel. Eh, let's grab that much right now. We have some more steel. We really need it in the machine still over on the other side. So that's a full stack. For right now, that's okay. And as you see, we're going to need some steel plates. So let's grab a couple of these. And what else are we going to need for this locomotive? We're going to need some solid fuel boilers, which is fire chargers. We got that, and that's not a big deal. And what else? Iron bars. <laughs> that's nothing. Okay, let's grab the steel and let's toss it in here that work and then first things first fire charges should have some coal 
Oh, that's broke. I do have coal. I just have it in brick form. There it is. I also have a ton in the barrel. I just chose to stick it in brick form because I was planning on making something with it. There we go. Go. And we'll stick you right there because that's what we're going to need. I don't know. Wow, I'm getting 12 frames a second inside the MFS or inside the ME terminal. So it does look like it's lagging a little bit when I'm doing that. So I think I already have some furnaces. No, I don't. I usually craft like 20 furnaces at a time due to these type of issues to where I feel like I have to go do it four times over. So, yep. Let's see what we have for this locomotive. We need some minecarts. One, two, please. I made those so need four of these three four perfect four of them and that should nope we're missing the two solid field boys so I was I didn't craft them I just crafted the the possibility we will get into boilers a little bit later on um, we're gonna use it for like a farm or something like that because they're really this really useless with some of the other stuff we have in here especially big reactors it kind of just puts big reactors to shame I hate saying that but it's just it is true so now we got these 24 plates we got some tr let's get some track let's go to one first track we're gonna need is this track did I make the wooden rail beds? No, I did not. So grab this in a 4x4 four four pattern. There we go. And let's make some wooden track barrels. So we're going to need... I keep putting them on me and then forgetting about it. Like I keep it in the inventory. Um, so wooden rail beds. Let's grab two for right now. Well, three. Just, just to make sure close that out and then we're gonna need a switch track switch track is used for 16 of them that's pretty good for that cost we're also gonna need a switch motor a lot of stuff to craft but luckily I have a lot of materials so we don't have to worry about the possibility of what you need so you need a routing switch motor which cars the detector, which is chisel quartz. Or oh, I don't. I think I already have a chisel quartz. So let's see if we can do this. No, I don't. So that shouldn't be too hard. Hmm. Browning switch motor. Cars. Some dyes. So we need red eye, black eye, and white eye. That's not a big deal at all because of the essence I have down here we can make any of the dyes that we actually need for any project without ever having to go flower hunting which could be a pain in the ass as anyone knows or you can sit there and make a flower farm which is not that bad but just takes a little bit of more patience a red dye I could do it I need red dye, please. I clicked on the wrong thing, so let's just grab some. So that's like that. And let's grab another. What else do we need? Black dye. Oop. I really should just wait for the recipe and then shift to stop it in place. Let's go vanilla. Extra bees, dye trees, project exploration. There we go. I think I have some ink sacks. No, I do not. I do have ink sacks, but they're not right there. They are way over here. Like I said, this transportation, I have to find a different way. Maybe getting around on my base. Maybe it was, maybe it was like uh, uh, conveyor belts to get me from one side to the other. They're just too lazy to. Maybe with some fans or something. That work. So we got some, the, the black dye, and we're going to need some white dye. White dye from. Let's see if we can do 
for no or bone meal. So we're gonna need we got that we got the bone meal. We're not gonna need any of the others. So we're gonna need a receiver circuit, and that is made with a rest on repeater, a lapis slime ball. I might have to go with some slime balls. That could be a problem. So you could use a congealed green slime, and that's just thing. So slime ball. Let's see. I wonder. I will be right back, guys. Hello, guys. I'm back. Uh, ran over to Abyssal. Luckily, he has seeds from every crop that existed. So up in here, we should see. Uh, inside your system, we should see slime. Slime balls, because he gave us some slime essence, which are crafted into slime balls, which we are going to need for the browning switch lever. As you can see, we need it for the receiver call. Let's see if we have everything. No, we are receiving. We are missing. Excuse me. This green wool. That could be crafted. Can that be... Can you use this maybe? No. How do we craft green wool? Green wool is crafted by using cactus green, green dye, dyed trees. I wonder if there's a way to make that. Yes, there is. Thank you, dye essence seeds, because you're amazing. And we're still missing something. We're missing. Uh, see if you recall. Green wool. It's because I've got to craft the wool. I've got to craft the wool. Oop. Like that. And then receiver call. Green wool. Cactus green. Got two of those because who knows whenever I'm going to need green wool. Receiver call. We're going to need one, two of these. Two, two will be perfect for us. And uh, let's see. We can grab all three at a time. Oh, almost right there. Uh, come on, all three. No, you're not going to make it easy for me. Okay, let's see if we can just do this. Why are you not letting me make this? Am I going to have to do this manually? I think it's going to make me. There we go. What are we missing? Something that goes on the left hand side. Piston. Ooh, I think I can auto make pistons. Thank you, I mean crafting system. Four, please. Thank you. And one routing switch motor. We're also gonna need a piece of paper. Paper. With sorry I'm going thing. I wanna show this. I wanna show this off. This is boring. This is probably way boring I, I want to show off what you're gonna need the actual materials you're gonna need to create some of this stuff two golden tickets I'm gonna dump the slime essence and the stuff into there so, so we're gonna need some special tracks right now well first 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 so sorry first let's get some liquid unloaders and item unloaders so item loader Let's see if we can do this right here. I am loader requires. Did I make the wrong things? I made a switch motor. Yeah, that failed. I was like, wait a second. I thought there was a second stage to our, to our thing. I forgot we need routing switch routing switch motors, and these things probably could be wrenched, couldn't they? No, you cannot. Maybe you have to be with create a uh, crowbar. Do they have that in here? One crowbar. I have to delete that first, then try that. Crowbar. Maybe I don't have the red die. And let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Vanilla, vanilla, Mary Culture, Minecraft. There we go. Beautiful. 
Give me a second, guys. I'm going to craft the rest of this. I'll be right back. Hey, guys. Welcome back. So, I'm setting up the track. Kind of didn't want to show that on the, on the thing because it does require a lot of different things. I tried out several different combinations in the way of setting up the track. One thing I noticed that I was missing was a routing table, which is easier than uh, some of the stuff that we made. The routing table, let's see if it's right there. This requires a book and quill, which we can do. Let's see, ink sec, there we go. Oh, I have to make a... Oh, are you telling me I'm probably going to be missing a feather? This would be my luck. I don't know how many I have. That would, that would, that would be such a bummer. I'm gonna have to go look at my inventory. There we go. Let's see if we have a feather. Hopefully we do. That'd be such a bummer if I do not have a feather in my living chest. Uh, feather. Can we please make a feather? That would be great. What mod to do that? Air essence. Scrap products, fish products, centrifuge. And these, of course, require air essence, which I do not have any of the air essence. Really, I have no feather. That is such a bummer. Let's see if I can run down to this area. I had to go outside anyway, even though it's going to be raining. You guys are probably going to... Ah, it's raining. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, guys. Relax. We're all good here. I'll just show you this, guys, anyway. So I had to set up a, a smaller farm, or not farm, well technically it would be a farm for coke ovens to make crease oil which gets pumped into these reinforced, each is 32 which is 64 buckets and we're using cold coke glass bottles for the creosote to send into our system. We have item ducts, they are set on, uh, let's see what I'm looking one, they're set to extract with active without signal. Inside. Audio with, uh, without signal and it extracts from above, which gives us unlimited potential to coke. And then we're auto extracting. Let's destroy this real quick so I can show you. Each one of these furnaces we are setting up for a pull. This pulls out item duct because it's simply designed to pull out only whitelisted coke, coke. And this one is whitelisted. To pull only crease oil, which is only oil that makes. I don't have why this actually. Yeah, that that'd be dumb. But I have these on output for sending into thing. They're all just piped together in one big little maze down there, which sends us allows us to have anything we need. So we need a feather. You know, one for old time's sake. Let's see. Let's just check. Maybe a zombie carrying a feather died randomly by our killing monstrosity down here oh I can't think because I don't have a I had a different brick on top no it was just a thing just a hope let's go back up to the surface I think I could find one we, we live near the woods so maybe there's a chicken out here real quick if not I'm gonna have to cut it for a second while I go find us a chicken a chicken, guys. I'm literally getting stuffed. I had everything else except the slime balls, but that I could get that really quick thanks to uh, Abyssal. All I need is a chicken. Let's see if we can find one real quick. Even though it's raining and it's, it's pouring, the old man's snoring, man. Knuckles. I'm trying to cuss a little bit less on, on thing, but. I don't know what <laughs> stuff we kind of do. Oh, and I'm out of jetpack. We are back, guys. Okay, guys, I ran and I ran and I ran for miles and miles and miles and miles and miles along the coast. And I found a chicken. Actually, I found two chickens. Luckily, with this looting five sword, definitely helped me a little bit. So, stick one of these there. Book and quill. Come on, go in the system. There we go. We have book and quill. We should be able to make this with some lapis. There we go, writing table. So this writing table is pretty unique. What you do is, if you need help, you go right here. The writing table, when placed in the writing detector, will switch and define the set of rules that use the switch matching locomotive. 
So what you need is to have some amper ands and some uh, not not following. These are more programming like and or not. So it does does help a little bit. Let's see if we can continue going. Like destination where we want the destination to go. So say we're going to mob farm, we say destination farm or mob farm or whatever we feel like to do. We go set to if the entity is following the right track, if it's following the right location, if the color of the locomotive is blue, don't send it here. We need it to go somewhere else. So we have a lot of things. So right now I'm just going to do destination. I should probably capitalize because I think it requires it. And we're going to do set castle. Okay. So done. Oop, did I spell that wrong? Did I spell that wrong? You know, no, I didn't. So this, when switched in here, this is a routing table gets put in the routing switch motor. So say we have two tracks set up, and to the down there is towards the castle, and this is actually probably going to send us. Let's see if we can pick this back up and switch track, please. So this should send us down. It might send us to right here. So let's grab our locomotive. Choo choo. Stick it right there. And we're gonna grab one of these blank tickets. Right click, open it up in the air, and we're gonna say this goes towards castle. Done. So in here, we need to grab some coal. Uh, coal, please and stick that inside the locomotive and right here what we're going to need is a way to load liquid onto the train so let's see uh, it's not going to let me shift click let's just grab uh, Y stone whatever I have in my inventory click above and one more I need to go one more dirt and then let's stick, well you don't have to, but this thing goes down into the system. So let's grab an accumulator. Oculus accumulator please, one. And we're gonna need some. There's Oculus, we're gonna need some buckets. There we go, two buckets should be plenty. So. Do I have any clear glass? Let's grab some real quick. Clear glass. There we go. And we'll stick that. I really need my jetpack full. Before I kill myself by jumping off a random thing. <laughs> Let's see if I can click on that back there. Yeah, I can. So this MFSU has got full power. It's half at full power. I have charged this pants twice already still need to get the suit ready but the suit is taking forever to to get done I need more radium more more everything so we'll stick an accumulator right here this will be set up nicer next time so the accumulator will go right there and uh, for right now let's break this Scoot out one block. There we go. And stick the accumulator right here next to the liquid loader. And then we're going to need a bucket of water, which we have stored inside our system. And click bucket of water, please. Yes. Then we stick this down behind the octopus, which should be enough. If we give it, we should see it storing water. I gotta tell it to input. Uh, let's see, can I input out its face? No, I can't. Let's, uh, can I use this? There we go, I could just do that. So, if we grab the aqueous accumulator, which we have stored right here, and right click it, there we go, now it should be getting water. Um, all four of these saying all four of them are inputs. Oh, it's probably is this sending water into there? No, it is not. 
unless it's sending it into the railcraft motor. So it is thing is just not accepting the water right now. Let's build another layer because I'm lazy and too lazy for it to see it wait to grab water. So let's go back over here to our system and grab another bucket of water. Please and thank you, kind sir. And it should be in water. It's doing it very slow. It's not accepting. Let's see if we can just do that. Maybe that'll accept the water a little bit quicker. It's going into the unloader and going to tour. <laughs> wow, it's like it's. I've tested this before in my single player world. Give me a second, guys. Okay guys, I'm back. It seems like it needed to just switch the water sources around. I don't know what's up with that. But it is accumulating water, which is getting sent down into our thing. So, let's toss some coal in there. And set it on idle, which is start building steam. As you see, it's going up 29, 30. And once it reaches halfway point, we get ills. Uh, and this receives, when I say it's full, when this is... Uh, full and it sends out a signal it would usually send off the train so I back to see if I can back that up so right now it's on idle so it's just waiting to build steam once it's about halfway there we can send it along its merry different way but as we see this routing table remember I was talking about it um, we just go ahead and send it this way it won't send it, but if we send it, it should, not 100% sure, I might have to switch sides. I might have to switch to that, this side to that side, to go down into, towards our castle. So let's hope this works, and it is 100%, and we can send it to running. Yes, so as you see, it switched it down to the castle, it is now heading down the track, and back all the way down the track, down our whole thing and where to end up way down here so let's get some track turn it around push it forward real quick go and there we go guys okay sorry guys that came uh I left a little bit too quick I, I pressed the button and something happened Let's send this back. I'm in my single player world right now, creative world, testing I, testing ideas. And I kind of wanted to show you a little more of what we're doing without the hassle of having to keep creating items. I'll create the items off screen for you. So this is an item loader, a uh, liquid loader. This will liquid make sure it's full, send it off its way, redstone pulse. These are holding tracks or lockdown tracks. This didn't need any in the buffer. Oh, I kind of want to show. So, this one has one that says a routing table that says castle so we stick that in here and it will send it to the left as you can see this track is you can see it's sent to the left and if it was not it will send it that way and over here we have a routing table this one's uh, messed up don't know why I did wrong is probably because let's grab this what it, oh, I've got to add the destination. So, yeah, that's important. And backspace. There we go. It'll tell you it's wrong. It's like, whoa, buddy, you've got something wrong here. So, send the send it back. Send them forward. Go, 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 go. So this will send them back to main base. I'll flip them. This is gonna say, oh, do we need any? Do we need any liquid? and send it in it said fills it back up this will stop here it won't actually stop here because it's full so it'll send it along its way it's like whoa not the idea that not the right spot this is going towards castle so we're going to switch you this way and this is for cow farm this not cow farm this is or this is cow farm this is not castle so nope we're not going to go there instead we're going to go this way and that's why it continues down the path and ignores the routing switch motor which definitely helps us in the long run of having a bigger 
set up for a wider area. There's a ton of little tracks you can get into this in the railcraft that will help you control and manage a system to where you can have multiple people interaction. There's even blocks like you could set for um, you don't want XXX to come this way. So if you go owner, I think owner, if this locomotive is Dire Wolf's 20s, we don't want to send them that way. We want to send that way to the death chamber or whatever, whatever we're doing at the current moment. Um, this one is testing this ender eye. I just want to show you got the things that I've done. Capacitor bank, we're storing uh, some, just some light right now. This is 200 million, or uh, yeah, 200 million RF. And it's, as you see, it's, or 20 million in the RF system. It shows you how much of the machines are using and uh, average tick and stuff like that. So we will put that into our single player world. Want to work on that? Not going to show you guys that. Nope, nope. Not going to show you guys that because that's what I have planned for later. But this, yeah, this kind of. I haven't really been using this. This one, new one, compared to my old one. Set up a huge dome area for us. Uh, so I will see you guys next time. I hope you all have a good day. And I will see you later.